six four L New Mexico peppers. Uh, same story. Getting peppers, blossom end rot. We did set some before the hot weather set in, but it was the same old problem. And another problem is it's looking awfully droopy. Like it wasn't watered, but I watered it yesterday morning. And then a thunderstorm rolled through last night and dumped some more water on it. But it still looks like it needs more water. Unless it's some other problem. Getting a few getting more blossoms. I don't think they're gonna set though in this heat. But blossom end rot. This one looks okay for now. Blossom end rot. Yeah, I think this plant would be fantastic. Very heavy producer. If you get all your ducks in a row, get your soil perfect, get your watering perfect, you'll be pulling in bushels of peppers off these plants. But if you're not going, if you're not an advanced gardener, because I am not an advanced gardener in any sense of the word, you're gonna have trouble. You gotta get this thing perfect. And if you get it perfect, it's going to reward you. But if you don't, not so much. Anyway, what's that? I don't know. I don't know if this, this wilting is water or some other issue, but we'll see. I'll just keep them going through the heat when the weather breaks. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to get some bone meal and try to uh, get that bone meal into the soil and soak that in. I'll probably buy a bag of that tomorrow <clears throat> and see if I can uh, get that bone meal or the calcium into the soil for when the weather breaks and hopefully get another crop in but it's uh makes a lot of peppers it's very tall this is five foot i've never seen a pepper plant this big before it's in shocking contrast to the uh, tam mild jalapenos which never got over like a foot and a half. But, like I said in the last, in the last video, there's no point in having a lot of peppers if they're all going to look like this. So, I'll try that and see what happens.